Hello guys, today I'm going to teach you how to import um, code from another JavaScript file or in this case, in another name is model, to call it model. So we are going to do that in Node.js. In Node.js is quite different from the JavaScript way because the JavaScript way use the ES seeds but in Node.js you are using CommonJS if you don't know what's CommonJS um, me neither so I had to search about it um, I only have a concept but it's like a different way to do some some things uh, and like the way you will do that in the browser is different from the way you will do that in Node.js <clears throat> so let's start in Node.js we can import another model with required or require function we can do that with only a file or an entire folder with a single file remember to put the path if it's on the same folder, use the point slash. The point slash uh, actually denotes that you are using the same folder that you are uh, just grabbing the file that it's in the same folder. If you, you uh, if you only use a slash, you are going to access to the main root path, and you are saying that your file is at the beginning of the road path uh, if you're not using anything uh, this is not a valid path I think this is not a valid path I think um, so yes you you will have to use the point and the slash I think if you want uh, if you are you have more expertise you can just do the path you want <clears throat> then um, try and export the things but first let me change to the file where we export the things so I explain it that you use the required with the with the path of the file you want to export things and then in the in the file you export things you use the keyword export and assign it the properties you want to export. It can be variables, functions, or inclusive classes. So it's like you have a very big object called export, and you just only create new properties. Uh, like here, I am creating hello uh, as a string hello world. Then creating a method uh, as a property of its port. Then uh, everything outside its ports will not be executed or exported. And um, as you can see here, well, I think they, this is not true. This will execute it. No, that that's true. <laughs> I just had to remember. Sorry. Uh, yes. The everything outside the exports will not be executed and will not be exported too. So take that in mind. Uh, let's go back to the f the main file, and here I am logging a file dot model and the hello property. Remember that uh, it's like um like saying that a file model will be equal to the exports or that file and as you can see in that file we are assigning property to exports it's like assigning property to the file model we are declaring here so let's say that require function uh, will return return the exports object right so <clears throat> um, that's how it works and we assign that object to the file model then uh, we console log the property of the file model hello as you can see hello is equal to hello world 
and the result we got is hello world also oh yes i have reason it executes it executes here uh this is called side effect it means that the entire code executes including its side effect so this is a side effect i i'm gonna say that i am a side I actually didn't know that I'm just discovering it. <laughs> so, um, but yes, the, this is not going to be exported. I am sure of that. So, <clears throat> let's let's um, continue. If I execute, for example, from the file module the method where I am, and as you can see here, the method where I am is you uh, it will lock you are in the first model and as you can see i can execute that and the console would say you are in the first model right just run this again to have the 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 new thing i am a side effect yes. then the hello world of the hello property and then you are in the first model from the where i am method then uh catching the error of not exporting thing you the, i just want to show you that you can't execute things that you didn't export because you are you are not assigning it to the export object so for example this function called i don't execute will not will not have this scope here so if i call this um this will get error uh, file model that i don't execute is not a function and that's because i didn't export that but if for example i export it uh, i will be able to execute that function then uh, let's go to exporting uh, our entire folder but for exporting an entire folder in my case i'm exporting my model folder here you can see yes my model folder um you need to you need to do an npm init to create a package.json and there you will put all the information of your package and it's important that in your package you put the main as another model.js or the main file you are going to use and that's all it will load the file but it's very important that you have the package.js and you can create it but you by doing npm in it inside the folder you want to export so <clears throat> you export okay here you export the folder um just doing the path of that folder as you can see i'm not doing any .js i'm just doing the folder and um, it will redirect to another model.js so i export that i get the exports object assigning to folder model and i'm going to try to execute say hello method from the model and it will lock i am inside a folder and as you can see here in the here in the console it locks i am inside the folder uh, that's all that's just the basic of how to support a model or a JavaScript file a function method variable into another. That's all. I hope it's useful. Bye bye.